Hello. It's the sweet June 2010. Um. <coughs> Hope everybody's doing good. Um. <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing good. Um, I want to talk about something that's been on my mind for the last couple of days or maybe a few days. And um, I want to talk about single mothers and depression. Um I've been reading a lot of headlines and stuff like that, and you know, um, uh, articles and stuff on the internet, and um, hearing about a lot of. I've been noticing lately that there's been a lot of young black mothers that are killing their kids. I don't know what's going on. I, I mean, and I'm just thinking, what's going on? Why are these young mothers killing their kids? I don't get it. I've been reading a lot about that. I've been hearing a lot about that lately in the news, and I've been reading a lot about it, and I don't get it. I, I don't. I don't. I don't get how these young mothers are taking their kids out. You know, I heard this um um the situation with the black mother that killed her two kids and put them in the freezer and then she's on here hollering, Oh, I would do it again and all this kind of stuff and I'm like, I, I just can't wrap my mind around it. I just can't wrap I have two sons. I I love them to death. I mean it would kill me if something happened to either one of them. I just can't wrap my mind around it. I can't relate. I don't understand what is the mentality of these young ladies? What is the mentality? What are they going through their head when they be doing stuff like that to these kids? And um, the only thing that I can come up with is depression. You know, um, well, the one, the, one, the one lady that killed the two kids and put them in the freezer, uh, she claims that they did something to the younger child. Well, you know what? I'm sorry. I, I, it's unfortunate that that happened, but I I don't really care what they did. That that's no excuse. That's no excuse to kill your kids and put them in the freezer. I'm sorry, that's no excuse. If they truly did something that was um, immoral uh, or Ill, Ill, illegal to the child, then she could have went about it a different way. She could have went through the legal system to let these children know that there's consequences to your actions. She didn't have to take them out. I mean, I, I honestly think that the woman is mentally ill. I think that she's mentally ill. I was looking at it the other day, and they said that she, you know, she was talking about on the video that she, she'll she kill them again, and she has no regrets. And it's like, really? I'm like, really? Seriously? It's like, these are your babies. You know, you carried them in your body for nine months. You gave birth to them, and you raised them up to that point. And this is how you feel about them. And the only thing that I could think of, I said, something's wrong with her. Something ain't right. Something, something's wrong with her. You know, she's got to be mentally ill for her to be thinking like that. I said, she's got to somehow, somewhere along the way, she snapped, you know, and she, she's dealing with some type of mental illness. And that's the only thing I come up with. And I'm, I'm hearing more and more cases about young black women killing their kids. I mean, I, I'm hearing more and more cases, you know, and it's like, wow, it's just, I can't wrap my mind around it. It's shocking me. Um, I talked about in my other video about um, um, these young black single mothers, you know, don't seem to have the strength. Um, you know, I was talking about how hard it is to be a single mother that you have to have. It takes a tremendous amount of mental strength and spiritual strength to be a single mom. I mean, you, you have to really, really, really be a strong person. I've been a single mother for many years, and, I mean, I've had to have the strength 
you know, and I, I can only say that I can only credit Jehovah God. I can only credit Jehovah God for giving me the strip over the years that I needed to raise my kids because um, it's been a really, really difficult and a really, really hard road. And um, and a, a woman, a single mom, has to have a tremendous amount of strength. You have to have a lot, a, a tremendous amount of mental strength, spiritual strength, um, to raise children on your own. I mean, you 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 just you gotta have. I mean, I I just can't express that more. Um, you gotta have so much strength to raise children on your own. I mean, you gotta be so strong. And I mean, because you have to, first of all, like I, I stated in one of my other videos, is that you're doing something that that's not natural. You're doing something that, we, um, we're doing something that's really not natural for us to be doing. You know, um, women should not be ahead of the household, you know. Um, God instituted marriage, you know, the man and the husband and the wife, and the husband is supposed to be the head of the woman. The husband is supposed to be the head of the household, and and that's how it's supposed to be. Um, and it's not natural. Anything that goes outside of that is not natural. And so we're basically doing something that's really not natural for us to be doing. And so um, it, 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 it's, it's, it's very difficult being a single mother. I mean, it's, um, it's very hard. I mean, it's, 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 it's like what I stated in my other video. It's, it's mentally hard on you. It, 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 it takes a mental toll on you. It takes. It even takes a physical toll on you. It, it, it even takes a toll on you physically, um, it, it, emotionally. It affects you emotionally. It affects you mentally. It affects you spiritually. If you let it. Now I have to add, it will affect you spiritually if you let it. If you let it affect you spiritually, it will. <laughs> Me in my case. Um, you know, I, I I really, really, really have to put forth a serious effort to <coughs> um, have a relationship with God, you know, because, you know, and it's something that you have to really want. You have to really want it, want it, and you, you, because, you know, um, Jehovah God is, is, is um, you know, he, he, um, he doesn't force himself on anybody, and, and, and you literally have to call on him if you want him. He's not going to force himself on you. So you have to want that relationship with him, you know. You you have to want it, and you have to you have to call on him, and you have to want him to, and you have to you have to surrender to him, and you have to you have to admit to him that hey, I can't do this on my own. I need your help. And 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 unless and that's when in any situation, not just be a single mom, but that's just about uh, anybody from any walk of life. Um, you you know you have to surrender, and we and we have to admit that we can't do all things on our own. And the Bible says that we are we are not to even take one step on our own. It's not up to us. We can't even take one step on our own. We can't breathe on our own. You know we can't do anything on our own. We need God to do everything. You know so it's like you have to you have to literally call on Him, and 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 and, and that's what I basically did. I'm like, okay, Jehovah God, help me because I can't do these do this on my own. I need your help. And as the years and years added up, you know, when my my youngest son was little, you know, I was hoping to meet somebody nice and, you know, get married, and he would uh, be a not only just a, a a a husband to me, but he would be a father figure to my children. Um, and you know, and I could have some help, you know. <laughs> And I really, really prayed for that, and I wanted that, but that it, you know, it, it didn't go down like that, and it didn't happen. So, you know, um, that's when I knew I really, really had to call on um, Jehovah God, and I had to call on Him, and that I had to really, really draw closer to Him. And 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 He, I tell you, He has been a tremendous help to me over the years. I mean. He has been a tremendous help to me. He has gotten me through so many difficult times. He has gotten me through so many struggles. Um, he has gotten me through so much adversity that I've had to endure over the years. I mean, he has gotten me through so much. And, you know, um, there's no way that I could have done any of that on my own. You know, um, um, I stand, I, I mean, it's, it's, there's no way. <laughs> I, there's no way I could have done any of it on my own. I, I needed God in my life. I needed him in my life to help me. 
And I called on him. I said, I need you to help me, Jehovah God, because I can't do this on my own. You know, I need you to help me. If I if I got to do this thing on my own, you know, um, then I'm going to need help. You know, and I'm I'm going to need you to help me. And he did. He gave me the strength. He gave me the the mental strength. He gave me the spiritual strength. He gave me, I mean, you know, emotionally, that when there was times emotionally when I felt like I was breaking down, he pulled me right on up and said, you know, I got you. Everything is going to be all right. And and I just, oh, I'm just so grateful to God. I'm just so grateful to, to to Jehovah God for just helping me through those difficult times. And he still continues to help me today. It's an ongoing process. When and when um I just call on him when I need him, and he's always there for me. And 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 I, that's what you need as a single mom. I mean, that's what everybody needs. But when you're a single mom, you have to you have to draw close to God. You have to draw close to Jehovah God because He can help you. You have to have that spiritual strength. You have to have that because He He is the one. You know, if you once you draw, draw closer to Him, and you get that spiritual strength, some other all the other areas will pull into place. See, mentally, that'll pull. He'll pull you in line there emotionally. He'll pull you. He'll pull. He'll pull you up. Physically, he'll pull you up. See, all those other areas will come on up if you get that spiritual that spiritual part together, and and you call on God and you get that spiritual part together. There's other. There's going to be other areas that in your life that you're struggling with that He's going to help you with. So, um, I just wish that these young ladies would understand that. You know. Um, that's what they need. They need that. And, and and I think the reason why a lot of them are breaking is like, you know, because, you know, the younger generations of women, I think, are weaker, you know, and they're mentally weaker. And, um, you know, and they, they just, they're cracking under pressure. You know, they're cracking under pressure. They can't take it, you know. And um, like I said, they, they got to have that that spiritual strength, you know, because it's like I said, the other areas are going to come together. <coughs> and, 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 and Jehovah God is going to give you what you need so you can be there for your children. So he, so you can be there for your children. And these women are, are going through, I think that they are going through depression. I think they are depressed. And, it, and it's manifesting onto their children. You know, they're taking it out on their children. And, you know, I, I talked about in some of my other videos about depression is a major thing in the black community, and it's not addressed. That is, first of all, that's the major problem. You know, um, mental health issues are really, really getting a lot worse in the black community, and they're not being addressed. And because black people think, I, I think it's this mentality that, um, oh, I got to be strong. You know, black people have this mentality that we have to be so strong and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, um, <clears throat> actually I did a whole video on that. The strong black woman mentality is overrated, you know, because at the end of the day we're all human beings and we all need help, you know. And this, it's, 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 the, it's that mentality is killing us, that strong mentality that we you know, go around thinking we got to be strong all the time and all that st type of stuff, and it, it to show any signs of mental weakness is 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 bad. And you know, oh God forbid, if you go get help and something's wrong with you, you're crazy. And see, all those stigmas need to be be broken down in the black community because it's killing us. That 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 type of mentality is killing us. It's killing our children. It's destroying our children. And the problem is these young ladies are dealing with depression. These young black ladies, women, are dealing with depression. They don't know how to cope with it, you know. And sometimes God do put other people here to help you. And, ooh, excuse me, there's nothing wrong with going to a therapist. If you need a therapist, there's nothing wrong with it. If 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 your your depression is so bad to the point to where you can't function, there's signs to look for. If it's so bad that you can't function in your daily life, that you can't do certain things, you're having problems issues with taking care of your kids, 
or, you know, you feel like you want to do something to hurt one of your kids, to hurt your kids or whatever, there is help out there. You can get the help, but you got to seek the help. You got to admit that, hey, I need this help, and you got to get the help. Because it's just crazy. It's just crazy that all these young black ladies are killing, you know, their children. It's like a, they're they're doing things. I'm time I turn on, you know, look at the news anymore. I'm seeing that, you know, a, a young black woman did something to her child, and the only thing I can think of is that it's got to be depression. You know, the root of it is depression. You know, I, I don't know what the situations are. I know the one lady that had the, that killed the two kids in Detroit and put them in the freezer. She kept she kept hollering she kept hollering and going on and on about how the fathers wasn't there. You know, I um they she talked about in court um, how the fathers wasn't there and all this kind of stuff. And so maybe she was just really really stressed out from raising the children on her own and not help having the help from the father. And maybe she just got so stressed out and everything and so depressed that she just snapped under pressure. But, you know, it's no excuse for killing your kids. I'm sorry, but that's just no excuse for killing your kids. You know, I, I, I had some rough moments. I had some hard moments. You know, I have two sons, and I had some rough moments. And I had some very, very difficult moments. And I was in, I was in situations to where I had to handle things on my own, but... I did it. I didn't snap. I didn't, you know, like I said, I called on God. I called on God to help me. And so, you know, and he he's he's he helped me, you know. And so and and that's what you got to have. I mean, you know, I I can't express that more. You know, it, it's like you've got to call on Jehovah God because he's the only one that can really help you. I mean, he can help you. But you've got to call on him. These young ladies, they have to learn to rely on God, and they're not doing it. And and, and don't re and they don't realize that he can help them. He can help them be a better mother to their kids. And then there's help out there. He put other people here to help you. If you feel like you want to do something to your child, then there's help. There's hotlines that you can call, and you can say, look, I want to hurt my kids, you know. What kind of help can I get? You know, and so I just don't think it's no excuse. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like there's any excuse to do anything to your kids. I don't think there's any excuse to kill your kids and to hurt your kids because there's too much help out there that's available, you know, and the, the, these young women aren't seeking the help, you know. If you feel like it, you know, that you know you're getting ready to crack. You know yourself. You know you're getting ready to crack. If you feel like you're getting ready to crack and you having some bad thoughts, you know, like I say, there's help out there. You call on God, and but God put other people here as well to help. And so this this not, to me, it's just not an excuse. It's not an excuse to take your kids out of this world. It's not an excuse, you know, it's not their fault that you hooked up with some guy and got pregnant and he left you. It's not their fault. The child didn't ask to be born. You know, and 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 then you know you're like, well, I I, I got to do this, and 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 they're stressed out because they're having to um, maintain a household, they're having to work, they're having to find childcare, they're having to uh, pay all the bills, they're having to buy the clothes, they're having to worry about the food, putting keeping food on the table, they have to worry about the utilities, they have to worry about the school expenses, they have to worry about the children's clothes, and they have to worry about. You know, these are all the things that a single mother has to worry about, plus taking care of keeping yourself together, trying to take care of yourself so you can be there for the kids. And those are all the things that the single mothers have to worry about. And it's a lot. It could be overwhelming. It could be, I mean, I'm the first one to testify. It could be overwhelming. And it's, it, it's so easy to, to crack under that pressure. But there's help out there available. If you don't have people in your family that can help you, there's other there's other places that you can go to get the help. But killing your children or hurting your children is not the answer. It, I mean, it, it, there's a better way. There's a better solution. <laughs> and I just I just think that they're just dealing with some serious depression, and they're just they're just not getting the help. 
You know, there needs to be more word out there. There needs to be some kind of way where there could be more word put out there for to let these single mothers know that there's resources out there if they need the help. You know, because this is crazy. It's just, this is an outrage, you know. It's like, I mean, I, I personally can't imagine. I can't imagine, you know, doing... Uh, I can't wrap my mind around it because, like I said, I love. I got two sons. I love them to death. It would kill me if something happened to either one of them, you know. So I can't. I can't imagine. I. 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 I can't imagine that. I, I can't imagine the mentality of what. Why these young ladies feel the need to take their children out? It's like you know, once you carry a a baby in your body for nine months and you give birth. You know, do you, do you feel like this child is a part of you? I mean, it's like if you kill this child, it's like you're killing a part of yourself. I mean, me, me myself, like I said, I can't wrap my mind around it. I don't understand it because, I mean, the only thing I can come up with is they're dealing with depression and they're not getting the help that, they're, that they need. And <clears throat> more, there needs to be more programs. There needs to be more word put out there <clears throat> so these young ladies can get the help that they need. Okay, and I, I I just can't express that more, and it's just it's just crazy, you know. Um, I might talk about this some more in another video, but I just wanted to I just I'm just I'm just seeing all these headlines and stuff, and it's just, I'm just I'm like, what is wrong with these young ladies? I mean, what is wrong with these young black ladies these days? I said they just they're just snapping. It's crazy. So, you know, um, I like I said I might talk more about this. Um, stay tuned. I got some more videos coming up. Sweet June 2010.